Every game has its own limits in the generation, but what about the limits of generation in Hill Climb Racing 2? Well, today we're going to talk about Farlands. Of course, it's not about the ones in Minecraft, but about the ones in Hill Climb Racing 2. Because yes, if you didn't know, HCR2 also has Farlands. So, since most of you are curious now, let's get started. But before we will start, I have a quick note. I do not in any way support hacking in Hill Climb Racing 2, and these clips are not mine. So, let's start with Leo's most hated map, which is Cup Town. The objects on this map look almost the same, but the terrain is very sharp. The background color has also changed. Next, let's move on to Rust Bucket Reef, which recently got the first 100k. So, the map at 300k meters looks completely the same as at 100k meters. Because of that, I wonder what the limit is on this map. Will we be able to reach the second glitch phase at 132k meters? If so, can we beat Desert Valley? The next map is City. At first glance, we see that the pools of water are just insane. They're about 250 meters long, which is crazy. Moreover, at these distances, the fuels are a bit bugged. The only normal things here are the containers. However, I wonder if we could get here with Moonlander if the Eco Thrust glitch didn't get patched, and if City stopped crashing after 44k. Maybe we'll see someday. Now, let's move on to Skyrock Outpost. The terrain of this map doesn't change a lot. It looks very similar to the terrain at about 100k meters. The only big change is the background. It looks like you have disabled the background in Hill Climb Racing on a map named Arena. Wow, looks identically. This is really interesting for me. I wonder which map will be next. Next, we have Patchwork Plant. At 1 million meters, this map is completely broken. The background is almost completely black, the magnets are broken, and just look at those hills. How on earth will anyone pass them? It will be very hard, especially if they don't subscribe to me. The next is Backwater Bog. I talked a bit about this map in my previous video, and I said that 200k meters on this map would be very difficult. So now let's have a look on this map at 300k meters. So you can probably see that the background is slightly different. This is normal at huge distances, but there are also many very huge hills. Honestly, it looks amazing to me. But if we're going to get to those distances, we are probably going to die at one of those hills due to the long distances glitches and lack of fuel. Now, we'll talk about Racer Glacier. So, at 50k, the map looks very normal. Only the terrain is a bit rougher. But at 100k, the background looks really beautiful. At 200k, we can see the bones shaking. But at 300k meters, only the hills are slightly larger, so nothing really changes. But let's move on to mines now, because it's truly a forgotten map. And honestly, I'm not surprised that this map is forgotten, because at huge distances, the terrain is only more distorted, which makes the map more difficult, and nothing else changes. Did you know that Potato almost never used any footage from mines? Well, now at least I know why. The next map is Overspill Fun Rig. On this map, at 300k meters, everything looks spectacular. Due to the huge hills and beautiful background, you feel like you're driving on a big hill. Winter is a bit like Overspill Fun Rig, because at 300k meters, the sky becomes bluer and the hills bigger. And that's literally all that changes on this map. Ah, I hoped this map would be more interesting, but now I'll wait for Desert Valley. Now, let's move on to a brand new map called Savannah. At 300k meters, the background changes a bit, and it's a bit strange for me. However, the map is also distorted, and, as with the bones in Racer Glacier, the giraffes are shaking. I wonder if anything would happen if you touched them. But like the background in Savannah, the Gloomvale map is also very strange. After 12k, there's only distorted terrain with many large hills. Sometimes there's a flat road. However, the background hasn't changed at all. I even heard that this map is very unstable, and crashes at some point like City. But the last map is the map that you've all been waiting for, Desert Valley. So, let's start with over 1 million meters. At this distance, the map has a deep blue sky, which is very nice. But unfortunately, I don't think anyone will reach this point, because the map is insanely bugged. The vehicle shakes like crazy, and you would probably get a texture bug very fast. Is this all about Desert Valley? I thought you would say more. Well, let's now see what the map looks like at 4 million meters. As you can see, the vehicle is very glitched. Sometimes it changes the direction while driving. But have you seen that coins only generate in one pile? Other than that, the map looks like it's only going up and up. And finally, we have 8 million meters. At this point, the game is unplayable. You can't even fly with thrusters because the vehicle is so glitched. Coins are also distorted, and nothing else changes. That's all in this video. This video is so short, because I don't have much to say on this topic. Anyway, thanks for watching.